Alright, so now we're gonna focus on the second group of functions in Tableau under the category row level calculations. We have the string functions. And the main purpose of the string functions in Tableau is to manipulate and transform the text values. So any field in our dataset with the data type string. There are many use cases and reasons to use string functions in Tableau. For example, we can use it to clean up our data and bring our text to standard cases. For example, we can change the case to either lower or upper. And the next use case as well is about to clean up our data in Tableau by removing any unwanted spaces. So here we have three functions, the left trim, right trim and trim. Moving on to the next group or use case, we have here three functions to extract specific substring from a text. So we have left, right and mid. The next use case is to search for specific patterns. And here we have five functions, start with, end with, contains, find and find nth. Then we have another use case for the string functions to combine and split data inside Tableau. So here we have the concat operator and as well split function. And the last use case is to replace specific substring with another substring. So here we have the function replace. So as you can see, we have a lot of string functions and tools to manipulate, transform, clean up the text values in Tableau. And now we're gonna start with the first use case about the string functions, how to clean up our data and bring our text to standard case using the two functions lower and upper. But as usual, first we have to understand the concept before we start practicing in Tableau. So let's go. Alright, so now let's go and check the following data quality issue in our view. If you check the dimension products over here, we have three values for the same word. So we have keyboard three times in the view, which is really wrong. And that's because the data quality from the source system where we get the data from is simply low. This happened if you have like a lot of people working in a big project and you have a lot of products. So they may enter like different names for the same products. So here we have a case issue in the product name. And what I usually do in my projects, I go and contact the source systems and tell them about the data quality issues that they have. But sometimes it might take a long time until they fix it. So in the visualization, we can go and fix and clean up those stuff. And in Tableau, we have a lot of tools and functions to manipulate and clean up the dimensions. So for example, we can use the upper or the lower functions in order to bring standards to the values. So if we go and use the lower, we can have the following results. So we can have in this example, only three products in the visualizations and all those three values can be aggregated for the quantity in only one row, which is really correct. So now if you compare the first view with the second view, you can see that we have improved the data quality in the visualizations. So now let's go and understand how those two functions works. Now let's have the following example about the customer's name. The names could be written like this. The first character of the first name and the last name is capitalized or everything as an uppercase or the opposite where we have everything in lowercase. So as you can see, we can write the customer's name in different cases. Now in Tableau, we have to bring those names in standards and we have two ways to do that. Either we bring everything to lowercase or to uppercase. And now if you decided to go with the uppercase for the customer's name, what can happen, the first customer can be converted completely to uppercase. The second customer is already an uppercase, so nothing gonna happen. It's gonna stay the same. The third one, it is lowercase, so it's gonna be converted to uppercase. But now if you want to go with the lower name for the customers, this is what's gonna happen. The first one, the first customer can be converted to a lowercase. The second one as well can be converted from upper to lower. The third one, nothing gonna happen because it's already lowercase. So as you can see with this function, we are forcing the names to be either upper or lower. So we bring standards to the visualizations. Now we're going to go and compare those two functions together. We start with the upper, it's going to convert the characters to uppercase. The syntax in Tableau is going to be the following. It starts with the keyword upper. It accepts only one field, the string. The output can be as well string. For example, if we take upper Maria, the first character is capitalized. The output can be string Maria in uppercase. So now let's go to the lower. It's going to be exactly the opposite. So it's going to convert the characters to lowercase. The syntax is going to be similar to here. So we have lower, then one field, the string. The output can be as well a string. The example here is lower Maria. So Maria can be in the output as a lowercase. So those two functions are simple and easy to use, but still they are very important. I tend to use them a lot in my projects to clean up the data. So now let's go back in Tableau and start practicing. 
Alright, for those two functions, I have prepared an extra file with the low data quality in the product names. So in order to connect this file, we have to create a new data source. So let's go to the data source page over here, and then we're gonna go and create a new data source. Then we're gonna go to the text file. You can find it inside the small folder. So we have here a CSV file called products low quality. Let's go and connect it. It's only one table, and if you check the data grid over here, you can see we have problems in the product one. So you can see we have here keyboard in uppercase, keyboard in lowercase, or with the first character capitalized. So now let's go back to our sheet and start checking the data as well from there. And now let's go to the data pane. Make sure we are selecting the new data source. We have here a product one. Here we have the case issue. So let's bring it in the view and check the values. As you can see, we can find like five products, but in reality, we have only three, right? So here we have the keyboard three times, monitor and mouse. We should have only three keyboard, monitor and mouse. So we have a data quality issue in the product names. And Tableau is case sensitive, so it can present the data exactly as it is from the source system. Let's take the quantity and put it in the columns. And as you can see, those three values will not be aggregated together since Tableau gonna think those are three different products. Let's show the values here in the labels. Uh, let's take it to the color as well. So now we're going to go and clean up the data using the lower function. In order to do that, we have to create a new calculated field. So let's go to the data pane over here, right click on the empty space, create calculated field. We're going to call it products lower. So it starts with the keyword lower and it accepts only one value, the string. So we're going to have the products one. And that's it. So as you can see, the calculation is valid and the output gonna be a string, the product. So let's go and hit OK. And now if you check the data pane, we have here our new dimension, the calculated field. Let's bring it to the view in the rows to start comparing the values. The first one, as you can see, it is an uppercase. So the output gonna be a lowercase of the keyboard. The next one is already lowercase, so nothing gonna change. The third one is completely uppercase from the original data, but the output is lowercase. So as you can see, we have all the names here in a lowercase. Now, if you go and remove the product one over here, you can see we're gonna end up having only three values, only three products, which is correct. So with that, we have cleaned up the data using the lowercase. So now let's go and clean up the data, this time using the upper function. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna go and create a new calculated field. Let's call it products upper. So we're going to use the function upper over here and it accepts only one field, our products. So products one and that's it. So the calculation is valid. Let's click OK. And now if you check the data pane, we have new calculated field, new dimension. So let's bring it to the view and start comparing the values. I'm going to bring as well the original field. So the first one is capitalized. As you can see, the output can be an uppercase. The second one is completely lowercase, going to be as well completely uppercase. The third one, nothing going to change. So as you can see, all the values now in uppercase. So now I'm going to go and remove the others to see the final results. As you can see, we have only three products and the visualization, which is really correct. And with that, we have fixed the data quality using the uppercase. Alright, so now you might ask me, should I use a lowercase or uppercase in my views? Well, if you're asking an IT guy like me, I'm gonna answer like this. It depends. It depends on the fields that you are using in the views. Let's have the following example. So here we have two views, the left one with the lowercase and the product's name, and the second one is with the uppercase. So if you take a look now to those two views, what do you think it is easier to read? Well, if you have a normal text or a long text like the product's name, the customer's name and so on, it's always better to use a lowercase. The lowercase are like easier to read compared to the uppercase. The uppercase is going to take as well more space. It's more aggressive and really hard to read. So for this scenario, I would go and recommend you to use the lowercase. In modern design, they tend to use lowercase since it's provide more slick and minimalist look in the website and in the look and feeling for the visualizations. So the lowercase is easier to read. It's more modern. If you compare it to the uppercase, it's hard to read and it's like someone is shouting. Let's take now another example. We have here an aggregations for the country abbreviation. So here we have it as a lowercase and as well as the uppercase. This time, if you compare them together, you can see that maybe it's more better to use the uppercase. And that's because since it's very short, the abbreviations has maximum maybe three characters, it's really hard to see in the visualizations. They are really small. So if you have it like a big characters, it's easier to read. So with the abbreviations, I always tend to use the uppercase. 
So the abbreviations, if they are written in uppercase, they're going to bring standards and they're going to avoid misinterpretations of the data. So if you look to the right side over here, you can understand immediately. OK, here we are talking about countries. But if you are on the left side, you might get confused. For example, are we talking about USA or the word us? The same goes for Italy. Is it like the it that we use it in sentences in the pronoun? Or is it like the abbreviation of Italy? So here, if you write it in lowercase, you might introduce some misunderstanding and misinterpretations. So for the abbreviations, I always tend to use uppercase. It's more clear and easy to read for short names. So that's why the answers that comes from the IT, it depends. It depends on the use case, the requirements and so on. So sometimes we go with the lower, sometimes we go with the upper. But 90% I go with the lowercase for the names and so on. But only for the abbreviations, I go with the upper. So with that, you have at least some orientations in your visualization. All right, so that's all about how to clean up the data by bringing our text to standard case using the two functions, lower and upper. Next, we're going to start talking about the three functions, left trim, right trim, and trim. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really going to help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.